Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Pay Studios. We're live right now with Jacob Banks. Jacob, great to see you again, man. Thanks for doing this. Oh, man, it's a pleasure. Thanks for having us, man. Yeah, dude, we crossed paths a couple years ago at South By, so it's yeah. good, to, good to host you here uh, here in our backyard, uh, right, uh, in, in New York. And uh, thanks for taking time to do this, especially on show weekend. You guys are uh, playing Brooklyn Steel tomorrow night, yeah, so uh, thanks cool. for taking the time to do this Thank today. Thank you, man. It's a, it's a privilege. Thank you. Yeah, and uh, so congratulations to you. Village is out in the world. It's out on Interscope yeah, right now. Out there. You guys are gonna do two songs off of that, and one from uh, from a previous record. Or yeah, are you doing it? Previous yeah. EP. Um, can you tell us what's coming up first? Uh, we're gonna play a song called Part Time Love first, um, which song pretty much talks about dating someone that shit. You know how it goes. <laughs> this is Part Time Love. <laughs> you guys it sounds great thank you yeah um can we talk a little bit about uh about how the arrangement of what you guys are doing here today for this session in this uh in the a fairly limited amount of space differs from what we hear uh on the record i mean is this a, a fairly similar or is it is it just is it vastly different what oh, do people no, hear on the record different. like even part-time love i even added i've added like an extra lyric section that that we only do when we perform live it's 
to be fair, it's more fun for us. Otherwise, it gets pretty boring playing the same songs over and over again. So you have to find ways to give these songs new life. And, and luckily, over time, songs take a new meaning as you go on. So it keeps it interesting. Like I could write a song two years ago that meant something and life will happen. And it takes on a new meaning. So you play from a new place, which forces you to think of the song differently and connect to the song in a new way. So um, we always try to take these songs on journeys so we can you know, enjoy and express properly well it's a total pleasure on our side to watch that happen i mean even just wa watching you uh you guys sound checking i was just about to just hit stream <laughs> and show the internet what your uh, sound check process sounded like because it was a total pleasure to watch yeah, it on this just, side and see yeah. you playing around with yeah. chain smoking see you playing around with with some of the arrangements just here in the room and watching it yeah. change over the course of 10 minutes yeah. thank you man we're just homies having fun man that's, that's all we do Good. Well, thanks for doing it in this room. We appreciate it very much. Uh, and can you tell us what's coming up second? Um, this song's called Mexico. It's off the album Village. And um, Mexico, I was in a relationship once. Well, been in several, unfortunately. But I was in a relationship and we had, we had planned to go on holiday. Um, and we broke up before. And I really wanted to go on that holiday. So this song is truly about travel insurance. Everyone should. <laughs> you should invest in travel insurance. They take your money, they really do. So this is Mexico. We had compromise, moving nights with Marvin Gaye. Only took a day to build our own In our Batmobile where Mary Jane was our alibi Shame we couldn't make it to Mexico Oh, oh, we oh, No one I believe
I was ready for Cancun Thank you. That sounds great. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Um, can we can we talk a little bit about the uh, you wearing wearing many hats, wearing the hat of uh, of video director also? I mean, you directed the video for for Chain Smoking coming up yeah. next, and directed um, uh, Love Ain't Enough, which just came out, right? It came out yeah. a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, it did. Yeah. And we've got and there's a couple more. And this is that's public information, right? There's more more yeah, coming out. I've done. I think all of them. Yeah, I think I've done all, all directly involved to some. I think maybe the earlier, earlier ones back when I started, I wrote the treatment, but I wasn't, didn't really direct. But for like the last four years, I think I've directed all my all my music videos just by just by chance of nobody else wanting to work with me. So, did you have background in it, or did you just dive in? Oh, no, and not say, at all. I had haven't. A, had no, a just for just it and went for it. Just trial and error, man. Like everything else, you just. You fall on your face a couple of times and you keep going and it's it becomes fun after a while. Yeah. Well, dude, I mean you made a, a lot of great decisions in terms of uh, the Love Ain't Enough video. I just watched that one. Yeah. It looks outstanding. So congratulations on them. Yeah, they Thank look great. You. Thank you. Um uh and can we also talk a little bit about the the evolution of chain smoking? Because we when you got you guys played that at the South by session two yeah, years yeah, ago yeah, yeah. and it's evolved and it's it was on the EP then, it yeah. is on the album village right now. I feel like yeah. it's maybe the de- the definitive version that's uh that exists on the studio version yeah. um of of Village right now. Like how has it evolved for you over the past two, three years? Um I think it's one of those songs that's kind of transcended us. I think it's it, you, very few songs leave you and they, they completely belong to other people. And I feel like that song has taken its own. Um, I, I just feel privileged to have helped bring that song to life. But I don't feel like that song any like it doesn't belong to me anymore. Like most of my songs do. I don't, I feel like when they, once you put them out, they, they really belong to people. But I feel like that one more than others has really taken, has been taken ownership by, by the public. And it's, it's always fun to play just to see people sing along, the people react to, to that song. They really, I've taken a liking to that song, so it's interesting. Yeah, it was, I mean, the first time I heard it was at that session uh, yeah. in Austin, and I immediately thought, "Where do I, which, what movie do I know this from? What yeah. show do I know?" I mean, it seemed like one of those songs that's yeah, just yeah, been yeah. around and in the universe forever. And I googled it a number of times to figure out where I knew it from, and yeah. I realized I didn't know it from anywhere. Yeah. It was just that the the kind of song it feels like it's been around forever. Yeah, yeah thank you. But, um, well, thank you. We'd love to love to hear it. All right, cool. This is Chain Smoking. Getting harder to breathe, churn smoking your love. Can be good for my sanity, can be good for my lungs. Churn smoking your love, churn smoking your love, churn smoking your love, churn smoking your love. And the bailiff shut the door Still I'm hanging on to the life we had before I know this cold and love will lead me to the Lord Although I'm black and blue, I'm begging you for more It's getting harder to breathe Turn smoke in your love can me go for my sanity Can me go for my lungs Turn smoking your love Turn smoking your love Turn smoking your love Turn smoking your love We watch the water as well Waiting by the sun Take me on top of the world and leave me on the floor You say you were meant to be Well, I've seen your own to see I'll be your casualty Where will it go? Let's 
get out of the room Church smoking your love Can't be good for my sanity Can't be good for my lungs Skin out of the room Church smoking your love Can't be good for my sanity Can't be good for my lungs Church smoking your love Chase smoking your own love Chase smoking your own love Chase smoking your love Chase smoking your love Chase smoking your own love Chase smoking your own love Chase smoking your own love Right. Thank you. That sounds uh, great. Thank Thanks you. for sharing these three songs with us. And best of luck on Village. Uh, the album is out right now on, thank on you. Interscope. Um, thanks for sharing this music with us. Have a great show at Brooklyn Steel tomorrow night. Yeah. And uh, there's U.S. dates announced from uh, from uh, now all the way until March 9th. I think the last U.S. date is the Denver show at the Ogden Theater. Yeah. And then Western European dates through the middle of April. So uh, all that's up at mrjacobbanks.com. And uh, guys, thank you. That sounded great. Thank you. Thank you to, to Heather. To Daniel, to HB and Smooth, and it's been a pleasure. Thanks for having us.